Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is CT Bricks and welcome on in to my 75283 Armored Assault Tank Review or AAT. This set has 296 pieces and was released back in August of 2020 in Europe and then a month later in North America because it was delayed due to the pandemic. This set came out alongside the 501st Battle Pack and all the other magnificent sets of that wave. Now, I don't mind this set all that much i just i just wish some things were changed especially this um yeah i will get into all that momentarily but without any further ado let's get on into the minifigs Alrighty, so this is the first minifig we have up here this is ahsoka tano she is wearing her season seven of the clone wars attire one minor complaint of this figure is that her tentacles i i don't remember the name of there's an actual name for these but i forgot anyways they're a little bit too long for what it's actually supposed to look like in the show at this point in time. So that there's that, but it's not that big of a deal. I just wanted to point that out. But uh, she does have two blue lightsabers as she does in season seven. And yeah, I like her torso piece is really neat. Actually, it gives a little bit of a, of a reflection and I like that. Um, she has an alternate face here on the back. She is more angry. She does have an alternate face, of course. Um, on this side, she's uh, just a more, bit more angry. Um, I do like that. It's pretty nice. Uh, the front side is, of course, more uh, happy slash like content. So that's nice. The alternate faces there are pretty nice. But uh, that's all I pretty much have to say about Ahsoka, other than the fact of I have way too many of these Ahsokas, because. Um, I'm collecting this set for the Clone Trooper, and this is not a very good Clone Trooper army builder, and I don't think it, that was the intent, but that's what the vast of the community uses this set for, to collect the Clone Trooper there. But it isn't all that bad. Ahsokas usually do rise in value uh, shortly after they're retired, so that's still good, I guess, because these will be valuable in the future, so that's a plus. <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's all I have to say about Ahsoka. All right, so of course we have here the 332nd Legion Clone Trooper, or better known as the Ahsoka Clone Trooper. These guys are pretty awesome. These guys were shown in the Season 7 uh, of the Clone Wars, and I really like them. They're pretty neat. Uh, they just have a regular Clone Trooper head that's been painted orange to uh, fight alongside Ahsoka. They're pretty nice. I think they're nice. Uh, underneath the hood, we have the nougat colored helmet, which is great. Um, very accurate to the film. I do like that. On the back side, we just have some standard clone trooper prints. But uh, on the front here, this is pretty, pretty much just the 501st Legion uh, prints here, which is which is okay, I guess you could literally just swap a 501st helmet on here and it'll just be a 501st clone trooper. Right here, we just have a standard blaster. Thankfully, there's no stud shooters. They seem to be phasing that out a little bit, so that's good. But all in all, this figure is really cool and these guys are really valuable to me and I only have about five of them so far and I really want to get more, but um, this set is just really dang expensive and it's hard to collect, especially when I'm just getting one of these per set. Like maybe if I was getting two, Maybe it would be more justified, but unfortunately we only have one of these, so it's not a very good army builder. That's that's my one major complaint about the set, is that it's very difficult to army build these guys, because it only comes with one of them. And I just really wish that it came with an extra one, or maybe another 501st clone trooper or something like that to spice it up a little bit, but all we get is one of these guys, so... Pretty unfortunate there, but without any further ado, let's get on to the other figs. All right, so next up we have the AAT driver. Now, this is not exclusive to the set, as you might think. It's actually not. This was included in the ATAP Walker set from two years ago, and these were called uh, Kashyyyk Battle Droids. Which they're not. It, it is a cool name for them because they do have the like camo kind of color. But in canon, in universe, they are actually the AAT drivers. So in that set, it's actually canonically wrong, which is, which is okay. Like it, it does match it a little bit because it is a Kashyyyk set, and these guys are in camo, so it does kind of make sense. These guys are not Kashyyyk troopers at all, but in fact, they are AAT drivers. But 
All in all, I think they're nice. They're good additions to my droid army. I think they're pretty nice. They even got a silvery kind of uh, gun here. It's not all black. It's just a silvery kind of metallic color. I like that. And uh, yeah, it just has a kind of like a camo um, torso and a little bit of green on his head. I like it. I, this figure is pretty nice. We get two of them, as you can see right here. We get two. So that's nice. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. It's just a standard battle droid pretty much so let's move on to the set alrighty so this is the armored assault tank now can you tell me what's wrong with it <laughs> yes it's the cannon it's really long it's actually supposed to go up to about here just past it like it's just super super long and not accurate at all to the to the to the tv show or anything it's it's I don't know, it just looks really weird, but I can't say I hate it. This vehicle is neat, I just really wish the, the cannon was a lot shorter. I guess you could mod it, but I'm not usually a big fan of modding sets like that. But cannon aside, I do think this set is really nice, and I do think that it's probably one of the best ones yet. I just don't like the cannon, it's just way too long, but other than that, I do think this is really nice. I, it was a really solid build. It was really fun to build this. And it does look really nice, I, I must say. The inside here is, this is the cockpit area. This is where the battle droids will command the, the, the AAT and drive it. And then up here is the actual like gun. Like this is where the guy would shoot the cannon and all that and shoot these guns. And there are some missiles on the bottom here that get shot out by do pressing this button right here just like that and yeah you can just put them back in there just like that so yeah there is some playability to the set as well which is nice but i honestly don't have much to complain about this i just really wish it included another ahsoka clone trooper and maybe shorten the gun a bit but other than that the set is nice i think that it's really cool the design is really nice other than the gun as i said but everything else is solid like <laughs> There's, of course, some guns here. They can swivel all the way around. Some people say that there should be a little bit more blue on this side. Like, it should go out, uh, outwards a little bit more. Uh, to that, yeah, yeah, I guess it does look a little bit small if you look at it from the side. But from the front, it doesn't look all that bad. Okay, so uh, I'll show you the battle droids inside of here just for reference. Um, you can't actually put this guy in here with, and have this closed unless you uh turn his head inwards and then there now he's in there but it doesn't look all that good because he's just can't really see anything but uh, there's that you can't really fit this guy in here with his gun so i'll just take it off it is possible to fit him in there with a gun but it's really difficult you kind of have to like shove him in there but yeah this guy fits in here nice and snug like that now we can control the aat and yeah this set is really nice i just really wish that this was changed and the figure selection was a little bit different, but other than that, the set is nice. I think it's really, it's a really good addition to any droid army, and yeah, it's it definitely encapul encapsulates the Clone Wars version of this tank really well. If you look at the bottom, you can actually see some of the pink uh, pieces in here, which I find pretty funny. Um, that's just for the the in innards of it, just to keep it all all um, sturdy and all that. But uh, yeah, you can actually see a little bit of a pink there, which I didn't know previously. That's pretty funny. And uh, uh, anyways, on the bottom, there's also some reverse tiles here and it's their trans clear. So it looks like it's actually floating, which is pretty nice. The antennas here are nice as well. They aren't too um, big and bulky or anything like that. They don't come off easily as well. You can actually rough them up a little bit and they won't fall off. And uh, you also can turn the cannon up and down if you wish. That is another, well, actually you can't really move it down, but up, you can move it up if you want. <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this set. Um, Like again, I, I, I don't mind it all that much. I just really wish the cannon was changed. That's pretty much all I don't like about the set. It's not that terrible. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm really interested to hear your opinions about the set. And that's all for me. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And goodbye.